Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the ATL in Ghana, please welcome this Amity Word of BumBumFitness.com. That's B-U-M, B-U-M, fitness.com. Please put your hands together for Amity. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where to start? Um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a few notes just to see, just, you know, to stay on track. Because um, I am a bit of a free spirit and my mind floats. <laughs> so I will say uh, my name, Amity. It means friendship in French. And my last name is Word, W-O-R-D. Yeah. So people are like, is it Ward? But so it is Word. Um, Many people have been asking about my age, and uh, you'll be surprised. I'll be 40 this year in October. No way. Yeah, she will. Yeah, yeah. She will, yeah. I promise you. Yeah. I say thank you, Mama, for your good yeah. genes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so about me, um, I'm an only child. I have uh, some half brothers and sisters. I have four half brothers, one half sister. Um, so I grew up um, as an only child, and you know, as I don't know if you know about only children, but they can be pretty creative. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes imaginary yeah. friends and things yeah. like that. I, I didn't have imaginary friends, but I did talk to my dolls a lot, yeah. and they got weapons. So um, yeah. Um, <laughs> born in Memphis, Tennessee. I've been in Atlanta since the age of three years old, so I am a Georgia peach. That's Georgia, Atlanta is all I know, ATL. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, about me, I, um, I've i always been interested in the, the arts, but I've also been interested in business and being an entrepreneur. And um, I got some of that, um, I, I would say I got bit by the entrepreneurship wow. bug um, because my stepdad was also an entrepreneur. He was a landscaper. And I said, well, if he could do it, then surely I can do it. And so uh, after college, three years after college, I decided to open up a dance studio uh, at the age of 27. Um, so I did that. I learned a lot, um, had a lot of ups and downs, and uh, I worked 72 hours a week. I did everything. I was the janitor. I was the marketing person. I was the choreographer, the instructor. I was everything. And so I just kind of got burnt out from that. And um, now I am uh, working in corporate fitness and I started a business called Go Fit USA. Yeah, that's gofitusa.net. Um, Go Fit USA, people are always asking me, is that a franchise? Do you work for them? And I'm thinking, Sure, you know, yeah. hey, I, I work for them. So it is my company. Um, I believe in having several different streams of income. Um, with GoFit USA, it would be an opportunity for me not to work as hard. Um, I know that we all have to grow old. So um, to have residual income is important. And with GoFit USA, we go to um, residential, luxury residential properties, we go to corporations. And I have my personal trainers, I have my yoga instructors, Pilates, and all sorts of types of fitness uh, from Zumba. And we kind of get a little creative with it. You know, we got butt and gut, you know, things like yeah, that. Baby. And Bum Bum, of course. And Bum Bum is, is an umbrella uh, under Go Fit USA. Bum Bum, as I was telling everybody earlier, um, is Afro-Caribbean dance fitness. It is, um, it's a, you, we have four different forms of dance involved in, in Afro-Caribbean fitness. It's um, soca and dance hall and Afrobeat and Afro-Cuban. So those are the four core components. But yes, dance and fitness has always been my life. Um, yeah, I, oh, one thing, I also have a nonprofit organization. It's called One Word Productions. I'm not active on it right now. It's um, where we ran some obesity prevention programs uh, with children, with children and seniors, um, working all over the Atlanta metro areas, foster care, um, senior uh, Thompson Center, um, boys and girls clubs, working with them. Um, yeah, so we had a program called Burn Why You Learn, and you burn that fat while you learn how to dance. <laughs> so. Yeah, those are some of the different things that I've done 
and uh, still working on it. And one thing I want to say is being here has really been enlightening. I've it, it really generates the creative juices, and I'm thinking of how what way could we do something? What could I do? And um, I I took a I took a walk along the community uh, the day that I didn't go with you all. Um, I think that was Saturday. I walked with Eric. He uh, is one of the concierge. I think he escorted me through the neighborhood. Um, just watching how people live, watching the children play. He was telling me some stories. And one thing he mentioned to me that stuck with me is the fact that a lot of those kids are abandoned by their parents. And that really moved me. Um, so the fact that they don't have a place to live, they don't have a place to play, they don't have a, a, you know proper education. I'm thinking that's something that really um, touched my heart. And if I wanted to do something, I would like to work in that in that area where they can have housing and food and education. So yeah, that was important to me. So yes. I think that's it. Bum, 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 bum.